So let's get started. Today I'm going to be talking about Captain Claw. Glitches, skips, cutscene, uh, skips, and stuff like that. And all sorts of stuff that would pretty much benefit speedruns, but also some of these stuffs are inconsistent and don't help at all. All these clips are by EK Vader and Pepe. I don't have all day. Oh, Patty. So, yeah. So I'll link their Twitches down below if you want to check them out. They speed run this game. So starting off with dynamite jump skips. So as you can see, uh, this just pretty much a skip used that is used to jump over certain walls that are not made to be jumped over and stuff like that. It pretty much takes the dynamite damage boost and takes advantage of it, throwing you over the wall. And it might look easy, but it's pretty inconsistent and is difficult to do at certain times and is not even used that all that often in a speedrun, so yeah. As you can see here, it's been it's taking a little bit for this one to finish, so yeah. Uh, these dynamite jump skips are pretty cool to do, and but not the best thing to save time during speedrun, but for casual play it's pretty pretty fun and stuff like that. There's other glitches that are more cool than this but I'll go into it. But this one is a short one. It's just a jump skip that if you jump at the very edge of those two places uh, you pretty much skip a whole under section if you play that level. And yeah, the Stark Wood skip, I decided to show a longer portion of the video since it shows some uh, unique uh, jumps and stuff like that. So. Yeah, like right there, he just skipped that entire portion, but yeah. It's not in all that fancy, but it's just pretty cool. So yeah, I included that since might as well show the whole skip for how to play the most of the levels. So this level is my wondering what's the main skip. The main skip takes advantage of those teleporters that send you to more areas with more treasure and stuff like that. So it takes advantage of those. Uh, putting you closer to the boss room uh, to fight Catherine. So as you can see, just jumped through it and jumped over the tree instead of going downwards and getting all the treasure, uh, putting him closer towards uh, end of the end level. And yeah, uh, moving on to the next one. As you can see, if you watch closely here, watch the platforms. He actually skips the platform there, and yeah, it's the crumbling platform. Skip. It's just inconsistent well it's more of a glitch that just happens and yeah uh you pretty much just make sure to hit that enemy and you'll get it every time for that certain spot and yeah that's pretty unique thing uh, it's pretty straightforward as long as you're on the left side of that wall you skip that one platform and yeah I'm moving on to back to dynamite jumps <laughs> the most exciting stuff ever so yeah, this one is pretty good one since it skips the whole underground section there. So you might want to actually give that one a shot since it's pretty useful and more actually easier than going down and actually dealing with all the stuff underground in the sewers. So yeah, here's another one that's also skips the sewer section. But some of the times when you're doing these during speedruns, uh, you just end up getting to like too low by HP to do any more and actually have to go down but if you get these holy you're pretty much set and wrecking shit so but you played it right off so here's a, a main boss quick kill and if you, you need to make sure you get that catnip to be able to do this or without it you won't be able to but it's pretty fun. This is pretty cool because you absolutely do not hit the boss at all in this. All you do is you pretty much just jump up and you grab him so and far, so you good. throw him off a cliff. <laughs> You'll see what I'm talking about here in a second once he enters the boss room. So he jumps in and he got the cutscene skip so he didn't have to see the pause sequence of him panning and saying a line. And you do that by spamming space and entering the jump room 
that is before entering the gym and he pretty much just jumped up there since he had catnip, grabbed him, threw him off, and got him out of there. So yeah, that's probably what used in a lot. This spamming space here, once you enter the boss room, and it pretty much skips this small little talking scene as you can see. But pretty much, the reason why it doesn't matter in this room is because the main thing that matters is getting the quick kill on this, and it's pretty difficult since a lot of the time it just depends on the moving platforms. As you can see, these platforms here under uh, come up when you can run over to the boss, and then the bridge takes him after hitting him for a bit. But if you could get back to the platforms in time, as you can see here, he pretty much takes advantage of getting back here and then he's stuck here with the boss even though the AI thinks he's on the other side and he's still there waiting for the time limit and you pretty much just wreck him killing him very quickly and yeah that's pretty difficult and something you probably need to practice to get but you could get to hang it pretty easy and that's the quick kill for no. And here is the level 11 skip. So this is probably the biggest skip in the whole game. Skipping this section, pretty much jumping the water there, sticking to the left, crouch, getting hit twice, pushes you into the wall, making you drop down and skip the entirety of the level, pretty much only having to fight a few enemies and jumping up on those ladders and skipping those. So yeah, here is the first boss skip using that jump technique to skip the first cutscene which gets the AI a bit messed up sometimes and you can get more hits off in the start. So he also does it here with Catherine and this also gets where the health bar and this is all using the game with him and no cheats or anything like that. So yeah, uh, so it's just wrecking, and this actually breaks some of the bosses. That cutscene skip for this, spamming it and stuff like that. He also does here. But yeah, I'll show you later on. But a lot of these are just the quick kills. So how to do it quickly and just get it done. The Wolverine since his uh, move set is pretty weird. The easiest way to do the boss is so that's just doing this, just crouching and hitting. So that's why it's pretty much easy. So, on to Redtail, the most broken boss in the game. So as you can see, he's not moving, and he doesn't plan on moving. The reason why is because that cutscene skip, for some reason, just breaks the AI for this boss every time if you get it correctly. And he does not move, and pretty much beating the boss automatically. And as you can see, he jumped in the air there, skipping, uh, I'll show you in a sec about the jumping part before the gem, but I'll show you another uh, fight of the boss where pretty much this boss, Redtail, is so broken that it didn't know when to die since he got in the skip in this video, I'm pretty sure, or something like that. And it just, he's what? still hitting him and it's not killing him. What? So he just got two hits off at no HP and he died down there. He was super dead, what the fuck was that? So yeah, if you jump before the gems pop up and you're in the air, you can probably grab the gems without even moving as he's seen there. So that's what I was mentioning before, but moving on to Omar. So pretty much just skips the small little cutscene of panning to the boss and him saying one line, but you have to cost a life in this level, so it might be useful if you know this boss very well and how to do it very optimized. But uh, other than that, it's just end the life and skipping that. So moving on to something else. So if you use the uh, the next one, timer manipulation. So as you can see, the stopwatch cheat has been entered at the bottom left corner. This is pretty much uh, used in a stable version of Claw that someone made that permanently has the timer for every level you play which I'll link to in the description and pretty much the reason why he made that stable version or edited it so it's like that is because in this certain level there's platforms later on that are rotating around that do a 12 second cycle that takes to jump on and pretty much if you're using the stopwatch timer 
uh, you're taking advantage of when it spawns and knowing it's going to be there at this certain time. At 2.16, 2.15, it's going to be there. Uh, this is a clip from Patty showing it on stream. And yeah. Uh, so right now I'm easily on pace That's order. pretty much it. This is just a little extra one. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. And all the links to those people who made this videos are in the description any well, questions let me know and thanks for watching goodbye because i was supposed to wait and i take failed that, it. but there you go it passes right here passes right here on 216 or just about and it has about a 12 second